support the DREAM Act, which, I mean, I, I, I have a dream. Martin Luther King was here, you know, he, he, he found him and wanted to come here, but I think Martin Luther King was actually proud he was an American. Very proud that he was born in this country. Was. Yeah. Wasn't he? He, was, he yeah, had you know, a dream. He had a dream. He wanted everyone to, you know, but I don't say, I have a dream. I want everyone that came here and, will, and make certain that my people will not have jobs in 40 years to come into this country. If I don't think Mr. King would have said that. You know, that they're going to come and take the jobs away from my grandchildren. You know, my grandchildren will be born in this nation, the people mm -hmm. that fought and died for this nation. When well, I said, well, there's a lot of people that join the military and they should be, well, if you join the military to become an American citizen, that's basically circumnavigating the rules. That's the same as marrying an American to mm -hmm. become an American citizen. You don't join them. I know people, my father served with people in World War II. Yeah. That did not become American citizens because they served. They served in the military, so they served in the military. Uh, uh, I know Americans that basically served in the RAF. Well, I don't want to become a member of the British of the British Island government because I'm an American citizen. I just wanted to go fly airplanes. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I you know uh, I got. I, I wanted to be. I just wanted to be a soldier. I didn't want to be a soldier in Mexico because those people don't get any money, mm -hmm. and they get killed a lot. I'd better be a soldier in this country because at least I can move up the ranks and be a, you know, El Sargente. They don't become officers. You, I, you don't see a whole lot of illegal aliens as officers in our military. Uh -uh. Enlisted personnel. Yeah. And you could be an illegal alien that went, you're not going to go to West Point because you're not going to get a congressman or a senator uh, appoint you to West Point if you're, if you're an illegal alien. That is not going to happen. So, um, you know, it, it basically you max out, you know, it's just, you, you become an El Sargente, mm -hmm. and that's as high as you ever get. You're never going to become an officer, so your, your advancement, if you're an illegal, even with a college education, is basically going to be zip, because the men don't like the fact. You've you got to find the guy, you've got to find the, uh, the soldiers, the Latinos uh, that came, the Latinos, the people from Asia that came here legitimately, you're going to see them officers. Mm -hmm. The people that came under here illegally are never going to be coming because the people up here said, I worked my butt off. Mm -hmm. I worked my butt off to go to, to West Point. I worked my butt off to go up the ranks. And you get give these people that swam across the river, mm -hmm. you know, the, my job? No, that isn't going to happen. No, that's a closed shop in the military, folks. Obama can do everything he wants to do. The Democrats can do everything they want to do. They can't even get the gays in the military thing through. Because they can't get, they can't, they're, they're fighting it right and left because there was no support for it. Obama couldn't even get general staff to support it. So you think you're going to get the general staff to support the DREAM Act? Hmm. Well, we're going to lose a lot of the best and the finest. Well, no, I don't think they're in the military already. They're in the military already, you know. And most of them joined the military for two reasons. One, they couldn't find any jobs, and two, because um, they wanted, they knew the Democrats were going to try the Dream Act, bit, which would get them a get them citizenship. Mm -hmm. So, it ain't gonna happen. This is America. This is it, it. Wouldn't happen in Canada. Wouldn't happen, and wouldn't happen in Latin America. Wouldn't happen in Europe. Wouldn't happen in Europe, Asia. Asia no, no country. Else. No country in the world. Or will they allow any of this to happen? Because the people are anti-immigrant in every country in the world. They're anti-immigrant. They're tired of them coming in. France is wanting to bus them out of the country. Oh, really? They're wanting to put them on buses, take them to the border, and then throw them out of the cars in somebody else's country. This is, this is the same as. I mean, they're passing laws in nation to try to protect the immigrants from being literally forced out by, you know, vigilantes throwing them out. But those, those countries that are passing those laws protecting immigrant rights, those congresses are all being overturned and they're replaced with people. I mean, there's an anti-immigrant thing across the world like you would not believe. Those days when you can do this have came to an end. And Obama seemed to be on the back, well, he's on the back side of everything going on in the world, so. But until next time, this is our editorial on the Dream Act. This is old Cam. And this is not a spring chick. <laughs>
<laughs> For more information, you can always go to www.montybubble.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. Yeah, and basically follow our, um, we're getting ready to do a web series, uh, you know, like 10, 15 minutes on cooking with the microwave. Well, We'll let you know on the uh, we'll, you know, let you know what, what our commercial telling us where it's going to be, but it should be once a week cooking show for about 10, 15 minutes. Yes, come join us in 2D and 3D. Yes.